Hello and welcome to the Consensus Podcast brought to you by the experts at Census. I'm your host, Hillary Kennedy, and today's episode covers how you can use reporting within CensusTrack to improve efficiencies in your sterile processing department. And CensusTrack is a complete surgical instrument tracking and management program, and our guest, Dalton Carter, is the technical support manager at Census, so he's an expert in teaching clients how different features of the CensusTrack reporting module work which makes him the perfect person to walk us through today's episode. So welcome to the show, Dalton. Hey, Hillary. Thank you. All right. So let's just start off with our why. Why is it important that folks should be able to know how to administrate in Sensitrack? So the biggest thing there, I think, is just ease of use. So there's I mean, hundreds of different things you can do when you're administrating Sensitrack, and the more in-depth you are and hands-on you are with managing your tool the more you're going to be able to help out your employees as well as report up to your management and things similar whenever you have things like uh let's just say we have an instrument that gets recalled you know how do we go in and show which instrument that was specifically rather than getting rid of all the scissors we have so and that there's there's a lot to it but the more you know, the more you can help out. Yes. Well, that, that makes a lot of sense because it sounds like it saves you a lot of time and a lot of headaches down the road. <laughs> so let's talk about what kind of data does an SBD team need to, to be successful? So data-wise, there are a lot of different data points whenever you're reporting up. Uh, things from your sterilization records to your employee productivity to anything with case tracking and knowing what was used on a patient specifically, or even a competency. So knowing your employee was trained in a certain area to make sure that they can actually go through and process things like a scope and make sure it's actually processed correctly rather than put in an incorrect sterilizer and then melted. Cause I mean, that's a loss of 40 grand sometimes. And it happens more often in this industry than you think. Wow. Well, so, how can you use the data collected in SensiTrack to make your department better and more efficient once you have it? The, that depends on the different data points as well. But the things like competencies, which we'll be going over in the Administrative Fundamentals course, those would be a good point to show, hey, this employee has been trained on this specific area. And you can even have another user log in to approve it after them being observed. And then that user has to sign it, signing off saying, hey, I know that I've done this with someone watching. Uh, along with that, you can see different data points along with where your trays are scanned throughout your entire department, including the OR if you're scanning there. Uh, and just there are little quality checks and things that people add in there just through locations or through load indicators within our load list. So there's a lot of compliance features added in that you can get to be a part of your process. That's so nice because it kind of helps you dot all the I's, cross all the T's, and keep things from falling through the cracks that are hugely important. Yes, there there are a lot of things that do fall through the cracks with traditional just paper documentation and things similar. And going into a virtual solution or an electronic solution definitely assist with that a lot. Makes everything easier. Well, so I would love to know what types of reports do you see your customers using the most often? I'd say that the number one that we use is the employee productivity report, just because it shows any time an employee is scanned anywhere. Uh, my favorite personally is actually a general inventory throughput report, which is a report that's just based off of, hey, Anytime anything is scanned to anything, it appears in this report. And there's just hundreds of different customizations you can do to it. So, I mean, I, I know just from in the past, I've probably modified that report to look exactly the same as five of our other reports that are already in SensorTrack. So it just has a lot more uh, functionality within it to allow you to do different things. Well, I would love to know an example. So could you give us an example of how a report can be edited to get the results that, that you're looking for? Let's just say I have a basic major tray that 
has been scanned throughout the department, you know, over the past two years, and it was used on a patient, but it wasn't scanned to that patient. Uh, so they, they missed a step, and I need to figure out where was it scanned to sterilization on that day. I can go through, and there's actually probably three or four different reports that you could use to get up or get the information that you want to end with. But I'll I'll use a sterilization load summary report, and then I can customize and filter specifically to that tray that was used, and filter to that day that it was used as well to go and look at the sterilization load that it was on. As long as I know it was it was used the same day it was sterilized. Gosh, that's so helpful because I mean, like you said, every once in a while something does fall through the cracks, a mistake is made. So to be able to go back and kind of retract where something has been and, and where it's been scanned, who's touched it, that that makes all the difference in the world. I mean, what what nice peace of mind to know that you can rely on that to get the, the result that you're looking for. Oh, definitely. And there's there's just so many different reports you could run to, you know, whether it be compliance or where a tray is, where an instrument is. There's different reports you can run to get the filters that you need. That's amazing. Well, so you you get to teach clients um, how the different features of the reporting module work. So for you, what would you say is the most re rewarding aspect of that, you know, getting to teach everybody how all of this works? So, I mean, the biggest thing is whenever people come back and say, hey, I use this and I was able to go through it and get all these filters done. And now I have an exception report or something similar set up. An exception report is uh a report that gets sent out on a weekly, daily, or monthly basis that just gets emailed to them. So w once you show, yeah, say, all right, well, this is the report where you can run to get these results. A lot of the times people will go in and try and just play around with the reports, uh, for lack of a better word. But they, they'll they go in, use the reports, and then they'll find, oh, I didn't even know this data was here. And they'll create their own exception report, and then they'll bring that back to the next time they call in to support or the next in-person CTUG that we have. Well, that's got to feel good to know that you're helping people make their jobs a little easier, uh, things run a little more smoothly, especially in an environment where things, especially in this field in particular, it's been very fast paced, high stress, a lot going on. So that's got to feel good to know that you're helping people at a time when they really need something to, to go a little more smoothly. <laughs> yeah. And I know it's sometimes it's hard to, uh, take in information, but they, they're they great about it. So you'll be on the call and you can hear sterilizers going off in the background or a, a BI needs to be read and things like that. There's all kinds of different noises within the SPD, but they're taking time out of their day to learn. So I want to make sure that we're showing them the correct way to do things. That's wonderful. And it sounds like you guys are, are very comprehensive and patient and make sure that everybody learns what they need to and, and get it done right. So I, I love that. Well, Don, is there anything else that you would like for people to know about SensiTrack before we end our conversation? I mean, really, it's just it's the best electronic solution out there on the market that you have to track instruments and trays throughout SPDs or similar. The ASCs, I, we, even some dental places, just to track their sterilization records. Well, it's great to know that there is a tool out there like this to make everyone's job a little easier and give them more peace of mind. So Dalton Carter from Census, thank you so much for sharing just some of the basics of the administration modules within CensusTrack and, and how they can be used for success and efficiency. And thank you for having me. Well, and I want to thank all of you for tuning into this episode of the Consensus Podcast. For more episodes of the podcast, to stay up to date with new episodes, make sure you subscribe through Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll be back with another episode soon, but until then, I have been your host, Hillary Kennedy. Thank you for watching. <laughs>